I'm Randall, but we love that yacht. Today we're serving a Manta 40 catamaran. So it's survey day, and we're surveying the Manta 40. This one is in unbelievably incredible shape. Firstly, everything is in mint condition on it, new equipment everywhere. And uh, we can't wait to take it out for the C-12 also. So the survey's doing the mast. We're in the water now. He's going to start the engines and check everything at the dock for a couple hours. And then we're going to uh, go to the yard and haul it. And he's going to look at everything underwater. He's going to check the running gear and the, the drives, the cell drives. He's going to check the bottom with hammers and stuff and look for any fiberglass issues. And then we're going to put her back in the water and uh, take her for a sea trial. So it's Randall Bird. Love that yacht at Fort Pierce Harbor Town. So we're at the dock. You can see the stern of the catamaran. It's beautifully built. Got a high arch for the solar cells and the radar extension and dinghy davits. Just a terrific boat. Mantas are really made. People love the mantas for the features. So John, our survey is doing a terrific job. He's down in the forward hatch, digging around, making sure everything's fine. No leaks, no serious issues. He's really taking his time to talk to the buyers about what to look for. He's taking pictures, you know, pulling equipment out. And that's what a good surveyor does. He really puts the effort in to help the buyer understand what's in the boat and what he can expect and what equipment might need repair. Uh, and he makes a to-do list uh, of things that have to be worked on. Now we're at the uh, boatyard. The travel lift has pulled the Manta out of the water and uh, it's getting ready to climb across the parking lot and bring it into the service area. These are giant hydraulic machines that are lift up many, many tons and uh, double straps for safety on the hull. And uh, these folks at Boat Jazz really know, know what they're doing. And it's really an amazing thing to see a big piece of equipment like that slowly moving across the yard. So now it's blocked up properly, still in the straps, but the yard is blocked with jacks under to protect it while the surveyor checks it out. This, there's two surveyors here. One is doing photographs and the other is checking equipment. And the two surveyors now have a soft hammer and they pound on the different components underwater looking for delamination or un unfiberglassed areas, poor construction or good construction. And as you see, it's a very detailed examination. Don't be frightened when your surveyor starts banging on the hull of your new boat because that's what they're supposed to do. And they listen for uh, different sounds. Um, here they're showing the... Uh, the propellers and they're checking the gears in it and they're checking the numbers on it. This is a conference with uh, the buyers and the surveyors pointing out various items to think about in the boat. And again the surveyors are now uh, pounding on more parts of the hull. I mean they're doing a great job, very detailed job. This is what you pay them to do. Find out what issues you have with the boat you're purchasing. And so far, there's really no issues on this boat whatsoever. Uh, back to the other side, you know, very detailed examination of the boat. So now we're on the water. We're on the uh, sea trail part. It's a wonderful day of enough wind to put your sails up. And this boat has been an incredible boat so far. And as you can see, it's a uh, Fort Pierce. That's where this boat is at uh, Harbor Town. Good place to go sailing. And so the surveyors are now going through the boat with going through the equipment with the uh, the owners and the buyers and showing them different components about it. So I hope this video has been instructive and it gives you an idea what to expect when you haul out and survey a vessel. I'm Randall Berg with Love That Yacht. Contact me if you're looking to buy or sell a boat and have a great day.